of x equals sine cubed, the first part says to write down the range. So this is not too difficult. You can just think of uh, maybe g equals sine x. And the range of sine x is negative 1 to 1. So if I just cubed it, if I raised it to the third power, 1 cubed is still 1, and negative 1 cubed is still negative 1. So it's the same thing, same, same range as sine of x. Now it says to consider the function f of x equals 1, uh, write down the number of solutions. The number of solutions, not just the solution. So we have sine cubed x equals 1. We can take the cube root of both sides. So sine x equals the cubed root. Uh, cube root of 1 is just still 1. So when is sine x equal 1? Well, the answer is x equals pi over 2. Uh, but how many solutions are there from 0 to 2 pi? Well, there's just one solution. So the answer is one solution. Only one time the y value is 1. Okay, now it says to find f prime. So f of x can be rewritten like this. I don't like it, uh, sometimes it's hard to see that the sine is actually the inside function. So there's a chain rule happening here. So f prime, bring down the 3, keep the inside the same, minus 1 is 2, times the derivative of the inside, negative, sorry, positive cosine. So uh, I believe this is already in the form, 3 sine squared x cosine to the 1x. So a is 3, p is 2, and q is 1. All right, now part c. If you look at your formula booklet, it'll say something to the effect of integral of pi y squared dx from a to b. So it's pi r squared when I'm making a volume around the x-axis, a full circle, 360 degrees or 2 pi, same thing. So we do this 100% with the calculator. I put the function in y1 already. So I'm going to go and I'm going to turn this one off. Just turn it off. This one I put in pi y uh, pi pi vars y vars function enter enter so y1 squared that's it and then you just push uh, let's see here what's my range what's my domain ball uh, for 0 to pi over 2 okay so go to window 0 to pi over 2 and then I can go zoom fit Zoom fit only changes the y values. So as soon as I do the x values, I can change the y values. So just push zoom fit, which is zoom zero. I do not care what this graph looks like at all. I don't care at all. It just, the area under this curve is the same as the volume of this curve. So I go second calc, number seven for integral, zero to pi over Two. Oops, that didn't work. Sorry. Graph. Did it work? Calc. Number seven. Zero. Enter. Pi. Over. Two. Enter. Answer is pi. 3.14. That's pretty crazy, actually. So, there you go. Volumes of revolution, don't have to write a thing.